Hey everyone, let's take a look at our next multiple choice question. The following histogram shows the distribution of the difference between the actual and ideal weights for 119 female students. So it looks like my my variable, that, that is my variable, right? The difference between these students is actual and ideal weights. All right, that's gonna be a continuous numerical variable. Notice that percent is given on the vertical axis. All right, so they're giving us relative frequency on the um, y-axis. Ideal weights are responses to the question, what is your ideal weight? And we did actual minus ideal. So then theoretically, let's say um, uh, someone's ideal weight was 130 pounds. This was ideal, but they actually weighed, we'll just say 135. Then that difference, if we did actual minus ideal, would be a positive five, right? So they weigh five more pounds than they actually want to weigh, which, or excuse me, ideally want to weigh. Okay, great. Um, so if we take a look at this, this is asking us for the median, all right? So I have this, I would say, roughly symmetric graph. This is always, a median is the measure of center, right? If I had some actual data values, I could put them into a list and find the official median, but I want the middle. And let's just look at our options, right? They're saying, is the middle over here at negative 10? Is it at positive 10? Is it at positive 30? Or is it positive 50? And I think you can feel out that some of these are just wrong. Like the middle, this is not the middle. So 50 is not what I'm looking for. Negative 10 is not the middle, right? And then you have to decide, well, between 10 and 30, which one seems more like a representative measure of center? And I, I would say 10, right? That's in the middle. It's the value be below that high bar. So this is what our median can be approximated to. All right, thanks so much, bye.